And what's up, boofs? I am doing this very special episode today just because, well, I was talking to a streamer, The Key Mom. Very awesome streamer. Watch her on Twitch TV. She plays Ark Survival Evolved and a lot of other games. And we had an interesting conversation about Ark Survival Evolved and its single player mode. Uh, basically, it's about the single player mode and the host non dedicated session. Well, um, I got asked, or we were talking about. Uh, how like this is a problem because players whoever would join your uh, host non dedicated session would be like max have a max range of like 300 meters or 650 meters or something like that before rubber banding back to the host of the game which kind of sucks but um, I found a workaround which does not include mods or change of any files or whatever. It's just a regular setting that has nothing to do with mods or changing files whatsoever. So, um, yeah, I decided to make this little tutorial video on how to do that, how to make your single player experience with your friends uh, to be max range on whatever map you want and have really good performance whatsoever. So of course for the performance you need to have a good computer in general. I have a really, really powerful computer. My friend also, so that works anyway. But yeah, so what you want to do, what you want to do is go into your settings here, in general, and then scroll down like around halfway, a little more, and then you can find the non-dedicated host tether distance. Uh, and it says affects the distance that connect connected players are allowed to be from the host player. Now, the mistake most people do is to go in here, it says one usually, and enter like a million or whatever. Don't do that, the game will... Well, it kind of will reset the settings back to 1. What you want to do is put 99.0 in there. And uh, manually, just click here and put that. Not the slider. And um, that will allow you to be apart from another max distance. Well, ex at least by testing measures, basically. We tested this on the island so far and it worked very well. So, um, yeah. Since the host cannot see the other player's locations, but the other players will always see the host's distance, and uh, location. I will just join my friend who's playing right now and he has the exact same settings that I do uh, because I told him how to do that. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna join, gonna join his game right now. Right now. Join game. And then you will see. Made the game load. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna cut the loading part, probably. Doop, 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 doop. And there we go. We're on his server right now. Welcome. Good morning. I am not zero cat. <laughs> I am actually feminist. This character is called feminist. Whatever. So this is his uh, single player, and I usually join to help out to do some stuff. I built this house for him. Pretty cool house. Want to check it out real quick? This is my crib. Or that's his crib, basically. Really cool crib. We got a lot of stuff here. He actually named that one Fox Stinker. Yeah. Very nice! <laughs> so downstairs, looking pretty sweet. Pretty sweet place here. And now, as you can see, let's see, where is he? He is currently... Right there. Host, Nemaneko, level 88. He's 6,820 something meters away doing stuff on the far other side of the map. Now, as you can see, this works. There's no rubber band there whatsoever. I have lag-free gameplay here. I can do shit. Right? I can, like, work. And everything will register. There's no lag, no whatsoever. Dip, 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 dip. I'm gonna do it with this rock again. See? Everything works really fine, real spiff. Real spiff! No trouble whatsoever. I can ride all those pets. And, um, yeah, no trouble, no problems, everything works, he's like on the other side of the map. Now, for testing purposes, I will be switching my location as well. I'm just gonna go here. I'm just gonna put everything into inside the box. Transfer, 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 dot, dot, dit, dit, dit. There we go. And now, I'm naked. I will teleport. 
Now, let's see what he's got on this map. Oh, he's here. So I'm just going to go here first. Travel to bid. And as you can see, pretty much no loading times. Everything works really fine. Everything works real spiff. And um, yeah, now I'm on the bottom side of the map. Pretty far away from my other location, but closer to his. So he's like 3,000 meters away. So working real spiff. Now there is one thing that might happen at some point. Um, um, first of all, sometimes the host location will bug out. And it will show you that he's like somewhere else or his model will, will appear in front of you just for a second. Those are general bugs, but they don't they won't cause anything to uh, happen basically. It's not it's not a bad thing. Nothing will happen even those models next to you or whatever. But um yeah, that's one thing. And the other thing is of course since this is a single player, unless they will patch that at some point or whatever, uh, you still won't be able to go into uh, caves without the host going in with you. So that's a thing. And of course, if the host wants to go into a cave, he should at least let you know because you will teleport it to him then. So yeah, caves still is uh, a thing. So yeah, but everything overworld, sh overworld should work really fine. Real spiff, let me teleport to his location. I'm going to visit him right now. Uh, travel to bid. Let's see. Uh. Mm, delicious. Oh shit. There he is. There he is. He's right in front of me. Five meters. So as you can see, this works. Uh, this house doesn't look finished though. <laughs> you, you, you bitch. What are you doing? <coughs> so. Feed the floof. Feed the floof, yeah. Feed, feed the friggin' floof. F come, friggin'. No. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm asleep, I guess. Don't teabag me, you friggin'. No! No! No tea bags. Yeah, so as you can see, this works. Works really, really well. Now we're both gonna teleport to the other side of the map now. Actually, uh. Uh, 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 Nebuneku, if you can hear me, uh, you teleport first, and then we can see the distance. You teleport first to main base. So he's, he's teleporting to main base. Uh, yeah, right there. Uh, six. 6,800, uh, 6, yeah, that's the exact distance, so this is where he was, and this is where I am. Or, uh, the other way around. <laughs> but, I'm gonna teleport there as well. We got two beds there. We also, we also got the t t Titanic, never mind that. Death Island. And there he is, as you can see, everything works perfectly fine. There's no lag, no issue, no nothing. You just not need to put in the 99.0 and everything will work fine. Of course, your computer needs to handle it, be able to handle it. So, um, just for a comparison, both of us have almost the same setup. I'm just going to say what I have. I'm using a um, radio... Uh, I'm, I'm full... I have a full AMD set. No Intel, it's all in AMD. What the hell are you doing? So, I'm using the uh, uh, last year's graphic card, the 480... A Radeon HD card um, and with eight gigabytes of save of RAM of memory, uh, the card. Yeah, my uh, entire system has 16 gigabyte uh, RAM. That's what I'm using. It's a uh, it's a medium speed RAM. I think it's it's about about 2,000 speed. Uh, I think it's just 1833, 1,833 megahertz or something. And um, yeah, both of us are using SSD um, hard drives, SSD cards. So that's pretty quick as well. And am I missing out something? Uh, yeah, CPU is a is is a eight core, uh, four gigahertz. So that's pretty good. I think he has almost the same setup. I think his, I think his CPU is a little weaker. His graphic card is a little newer. And RAM, I think he has the same RAM. So that works for us. And that's pretty pretty much perfect, perfect, perfect. And um, yeah. So I guess, thanks for watching, I hope this was very useful, and I actually, let me advertise a bit, we got, I'm doing a lot of gameplay on my channel, ARK is growing, ARK is growing, if you want to 
watch me play some ARK. I got a survival series going on on Scorched Earth right now, which is pretty pretty interesting. I do fun stuff. It's also a lot of, a lot of goofiness, a lot of comedy in there. So you can check that out. I would be very pleased. Also, if you enjoyed this video, if this was helpful for you, then leave a like, of course. And, um, yeah. If you want to become a member of the Voof Pack, then just join us by subscribing. Also, don't forget to feed the floof. Feed the floof. You can feed the floof by hitting the like button. Make it a fat ass floofy. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope to see you around. I also do live streams. At least we'll do a little more at one point. Didn't do any ARC live streams yet. I also will probably do some ARC tutorials as well if I find interesting stuffs. And, um, yeah, let me know if this worked out for you as well. In the comment section below. Also, yeah, like I said, once again, thanks uh, the key mom, uh, the live streamer, um, for actually giving me the idea to make this video because it seems a lot of people are asking for stuff like this. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you, see you next time, hopefully. See you in my other videos. And um, yeah, see you next time. Fox out. <laughs>